And a special thanks and shout out to Masterpiece, Classic Cars, and New Whiteland, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film today. Hello everyone, today we'll be taking an in-depth walk around look at this very nice 1974 AMC Javelin. And this Javelin is in Sienna Orange, it has the buff vinyl interior. The Javelin was produced from 1967 to 1974. It was designed by the world famous and highly respected Richard Teague. Teague was known for his innovative styling and ability to think outside of the box. And despite management's insistence on things like good trunk space and rear seat room, Teague managed to endow the Javelin with what he termed the wet t-shirt look, voluptuous curves with not a hint of fat. And Javelins are rear-wheel drive. This one is powered by the 232 cubic inch, single barrel, 3.8 liter, 100 horsepower, inline six-cylinder engine. It is mated to the 3-speed A904 Torque Command Automatic Transmission. The AMC Javelin served as the company's entrance to the pony car market created by the Ford Mustang. It featured smooth, semi-fastback roof line that set it apart from the piers, and the bulging fenders and other tight body lines made it instantly recognizable. By 1974, the automobile marketplace had changed. Mid-year, Chrysler abandoned the pony car market, whereas Ford replaced the original Mustang with a smaller four-cylinder version, and other pony car manufacturers also downsized engines. The Javelin's big engine option continued until the production of the model ended in October or November of 1974, amidst the Arab oil embargo, and overall declining interest in high-performance vehicles. Several factors led to the demise of the Javelin model, not least of which was the economic climate of the time. Unlike General Motors, Camaro, and Firebird, the 1974 Javelins were not exempt from new, stricter front and rear bumper standards. AMC estimated that it would take $12 million in engineering and design work to revise the bumpers to meet the 1975 standards. Alright, let's take a look inside. As you can see, flush mounted door handles on the doors. And inside is the ginger-toned buff interior color. Hard plastic door trim with soft touch armrest and plastic wood grain trim. And this vehicle does feature manual door locks. You've also got chrome door poles and manual wind-up windows. Sleek wraparound cockpit style interior with twin bucket seats. Has a houndstooth pattern on the inside. You have your parking brake, you also have an exterior fresh air vent, and your parking brake release mounted below the door instrument panel, various light and panel controls, as you can see the houndstooth pattern on the seat inserts. Alright, I'm panning through the interior and showing a little more details. This vehicle does feature power steering. The wraparound cockpit is obvious from the driver's seat with three main instrument controls. As stated before, light control, your panel lights, an array of warning lamps, as well as your turn signal indicators. This vehicle does feature the fuel gauge and temperature gauge, as well as 120 mile per hour speedometer. However, optional would be a voltage gauge and oil pressure gauge, as well as a TikTok tack style tachometer. More controls for wiper and washer. You also have an AM radio mounted in the high in the instrument panel. And below, you have the weather eye climate control. This is just a ventilation control, no air conditioning. You have an ash receiver with a cigar lighter. Aftermarket cruise control has been installed in this vehicle.
Overhead, you have a headliner mounted ma uh, manually dimming rearview mirror and adjustable sun visors. All right, and taking a look at the rear seat, the rear seat does seat two across with manual lap belts. The houndstooth two-tone pattern continue in the rear as well. You also have wind-up windows. All right, let's take a look at the trunk area. As stated before, trunk space was at a minimum, but it's actually usable in this car. It does have a very high lift over, but it does have a trunk mat, and there is a decent amount of space. On the trunk lid, you have your jacking tools and instructions. And this does conclude our in-depth walk-around look at this 1974 AMC Javelin. We hope the review was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.